What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, this channel is all about looking good and smelling amazing. So if you're a guy out there that loves to look good and smell great as well, and you've come to the right channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. So I've had a lot of people over the course of time ask me in the comments section, hey, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, what's your fragrance applying routine or how do you apply your fragrances? So I think it's about time I go ahead and give you guys a video on what my fragrance applying routine regimen consists of. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna be giving you guys my routine, uh, my regimen in the morning or evening, whatever it is when I'm applying a fragrance. How I do that, what kind of rules that I use uh, when applying fragrances in the whole nine. So if you wanna know what that is, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first off, I will say this. Now, sometimes you just can't take things for granted. First, I take a nice shower. Uh, anytime I want to be, for the most part, when I'm going to be applying a fragrance in the morning time or, of course, at night, if I'm going out somewhere, I like to start with a fresh shower. Now, especially in the evening time, if I've already been uh, wearing a different fragrance for that day and I've come home maybe from work or something like that I'm going to be going out and doing a different event whether it be a date night or whether it be just going out to run errands uh, or something like that I like to change my fragrance up so a lot of times I like to take a shower before that as well I don't like to mix fragrances so to speak in that regard so it starts off don't want to take it for granted with a nice hot shower now secondly once I get out of the shower um, I like to use a, a lotion that is non-scented or very lightly scented. The one that I use all the time, this one is called Renew Lotion. And um, this is what it looks like right here. Um, if you guys would like, I could leave a link down to where you can find this kind of lotion. But I like this one because, again, it's very lightly scented. I don't like to wear a lotion that's going to interfere with the fragrance. You know, so that's the second tip. I don't wear heavily scented lotions because a lot of times it interferes with the fragrance itself. You don't want to be wearing the oil survivor and then mixing that with cocoa butter. So, <laughs> so keep the lotion that you're wearing, keep it to a non-scented or a lightly scented lotion. All right guys, next up, a general rule of thumb that I follow as it relates to applying my fragrances are, I go by the three five, seven rule. All of my fragrances fall into one of those categories. Either it's a fragrance that I spray three times, five times, or seven times. Now I'm gonna give you the logic behind that. First, let's start with three sprays. So there are several fragrances in my collection that, that really fall in that super beast mode category, meaning you really only need a few sprays to be set and be good to go for the whole day. I have two fragrances here to use for example. Another element that you're going to find with these fragrances are in most cases they're at least a parfum concentration because the higher you get as it relates to the oil concentration in a fragrance oftentimes the longer it's going to stick around and the more oil that's used in the fragrance so with that being said those fragrances tend to last longer sometimes they sit closer to the skin but they tend to last longer and because of that i have two fragrances here uh, from Rosia, we have Creation E, and we also have Nishanese Hachivat. Now, this is an extract de parfum, and this is a parfum concentration. So because of that, these fragrances fall into the three spray category. So where I spray these fragrances typically is going to be one on my neck, and one on each of the pulse points on my wrist. On the back of my wrist, I give these fragrances three sprays. You never want to spray your clothes with these kind of fragrances because of the oil concentration that is contained in these. It really could leave some nasty stains on your clothes. So you want to stay away from spraying these high oil concentrated fragrances on your clothes to avoid stains. So these fragrances, again, 
fall into the three spray category. Okay guys, next up, the next category is five sprays. Most of the fragrances that I have in my collection fall into this particular category of five sprays, all right? So with five sprays, I have one fragrance from a designer side and one fragrance from the niche side to represent. I have Original Santal by Creed, and I also have Dior Sauvage Parfum. Again, just to use these as an example, these fragrances fall into the five spray category. Okay, so they're not as heavily concentrated as the first two fragrances that I mentioned, and they're not as light as the last two fragrances that I'm gonna talk about. So again, most of the fragrances in my collection are probably gonna fall in this particular category. And so with my five sprays, I get two sprays on my neck, one here, one here, one on the back of each wrist, three, four, and then I give one nice spray on my shirt. These fragrances aren't as heavy as it relates to the oil concentration in the fragrance so that you don't really have to worry about your clothes being stained with these. And spraying your clothes kind of helps to boost the longevity of the fragrance. So with most of the fragrances in my collection, I follow the five rule and I like to give one, two, three, four, and then a fifth spray on my shirt. And last but not least, guys, the fragrances that fall into the seven spray category. Oftentimes, these fragrances are gonna be EDT concentrations and below. And oftentimes, these are gonna be your more citrusy, kind of summery, aquatic fragrances that don't really perform as well. So that's why you can go a little bit heavier on the trigger. Two fragrances that I have here, one niche, one designer. To give you an example, from Byredo, we have Ball That Freak. And from Versace, we have Man O Fresh. So once again, guys, these fragrances are really designed to really be worn in hotter temperatures. A lot of times citrus and floral notes are a little bit more volatile and a lot more fleeting. So they tend not to last as long. So you can get away with going heavy on the trigger. So the spray routine for the seven sprays are one on this side of the neck, one here, that's two. Then I go one behind the neck, that's three. Then we have each pulse point of the wrist, four, five, and then I give two sprays on my shirt or in my chest area. If I'm wearing a shirt and I may have the uh, shirt open, I'll take a spray here and then one on the shirt. If it's closed, I just do two on the shirt and that is my seven sprays. So fellas, that's it. That's my spray routine. That's my regiment. Again, if you implement this three, five, seven spray regiment into your routine as well, you should be good to go in most situations. That should get the job done. By doing this, you make sure that you don't really fall into that category of being an over sprayer. Okay guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on how to apply your fragrances. As always, I say, I appreciate you guys watching this video because you could have been doing anything else in the world, but you're right here with me watching this video, and I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining, because I'm your main man, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.